Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody left me a message on one of my videos uh, saying that X7 doesn't have object to path. Is there any way you could use text to path, which is in all versions of Corel? And the question's kind of right. He wanted to do circles. Well, these circles are actually a text. It's that font right there, AR Bonnie. And I probably got it off DA fonts. But if you look, I'm going to make this font 47.75 long. And I've drawn a oval that is 47.75 in length. And I figured that out by going to Windows, Dockers, Properties. And it been it turned into a curve. And the curve is 47.75 and some change. So this is a text. We're going to go and go to text and fit text to path, put on the path, and there you have circles around a object using text to path. Now, let's say you don't need a full path. You don't need the full all the way around. His example only had three of them. So I made a line that's 47.75, bringing a calculator 47.75 divided by four is 1.9375. If you will set your nudge factor on 11.9375, it's gonna round it off. And then what I would do is take a, I made this line the length, take a two point line, hold it down the control button so it's perpendicular, have it snap to there, and then Control D and make a, nut, a duplicate and nudge it over that amount of degree. And see, we'll just double check and it does make it till the end. Then take your, let's say we want four of them. So I'm going to get my text. And I'm going to type in a, an O. And I'm going to change it to that body. And I'm going to make it a bigger font for the video so you'll be able to see it. must not have been clicked on it. Let's go to Bonnie. Let's make it 200 points. Then snap it to that line. Doesn't really matter. And then type out three more. Take the shape tool and go until that locks are pretty close to uh, the center of, it's kind of hesitating. Uh, there might be a better way to do it. There we go, we're pretty close. Now, this is a text. Let's move our text up out of the way and let's go to text, fit to path, put on our path and then you can move it around any which way you want. Um, let me back up here and do it when it's zoomed in. Let me get this closer, then zoom in, because you could get it top dead center. Matter of fact, let's put this in the center of the page, bring in an indexing line, put it in the center of the page, grab our text, let me zoom in a little bit more. Grab our text, go up to text, fit text to path, and rotate it till it's pretty much in the center and you can always play with that. This, I, I pointed up on screen, that red line is telling you it's in the center of that. Um, but you could do that with any amount of circles using a text. And you don't, you know, you could find another, I mean, that's a perfect zero, perfect circle. We're not exactly on it. I wonder if we can take our shape tool and still move it. No, we can move them individually, but let's back up here. Let's see if we can't get it closer than that. There's got to be a way to rotate it. There's really no way to snap to it, but that's pretty close. And then you could take your, your line away but do the same thing, object, break, text apart, take your oval away, and now you've got four circles, basically, 
on the outside. And you can do that with five, six, any amount and just change your nudge factor. So I thank that viewer for kind of testing my brain here because that worked. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.